It's not bad. It's not bad. But what is bad, what is bad is this poll that says that 72% of people think that Tyranids will dominate the meta. We won't have this meta utopia where anyone can win like Death Guard. We've got Tyranids dominating. And why is that? Why is that? That's what we need to find out. Is it because Tyranids are new? Is it because they think they have too many rules? They have Codex. They have Crusher. They have High Fleet Leviathan Supplement. Well, that's definitely what one tournament thought. They thought they had too many rules. Someone's been taking a leaf out of the old Hellstorm book and saying, the meta is shite, so we're going to fix it ourselves before Games Workshop have to pull their finger out. That's what can be said for the Dallas Open GT. And I'm going to put my arms out there and say, I embrace you. I embrace you. I think you're a legend. Well done for doing this. The Dallas Open GT, a GT in Texas, has put a um, an event FAQ out yesterday. We're half the press, half the press. They're using the new Tuned Codex. However, however, they have banned Crusher Stampede and Hive Fleet Leviathan Supplement. Let's see what they've got to say. Event FAQ update will release soon, but we want to push this word out as soon as possible for visibility and to allow the most amount of time for list testing. Crusher Stampede and Leviathan Supplement will not be active for the new Tyranid Codex at Dallas Open. These books both repeatedly reference rules found in the 8th edition Codex. With the 8th edition book no longer being valid, these books will be also considered invalid. We do not take this decision lightly, but due to the lack of clarifying guidance, a decision had to be made. Thank you for everyone for understanding and patience. Look forward to seeing you at the Dallas Open. Now this was divisive, let to say the least. I thought people hated me, but god damn. Dallas Open have pissed people off. And I think Dallas Open are in the right. I just want to make that sure that's clear before we carry on. I think they're doing the right thing, okay? I think I'm fully on board with their idea. They're taking the rules and adjusting them for their events to make it better for everyone involved. That's a community update. That's a community balanced data slate if I ever saw one. As a community FAQ, if I ever saw one, it's so beautiful. It's like looking in the mirror. It's so amazing. I love to see it. I love to see it. It's amazing. Look, look who else loves to see it. Shrek loves to see it. Look, community balance Shrek loves it. He loves it. But 66 comments on there. 86 comments in the competitive 40k group. And... 268 comments on reddit they did not agree on a wholeheartedly it was a very divided topic a very very divided topic a lot of people saying that this is really good a lot of people saying this is and it's a it's a dictatorship it's a dictatorship they were saying it's a dictatorship how could a to run a tournament and make rules for it how could they despicable <laughs> it's it's crazy it's crazy but so the the whole point is is that uh dallas open is saying that the 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 books such as crusher stampede and high fleet leviathan the supplement uh reference reference um rules from the original codex you know from the original codex that's the problem a lot of people angry, like Brad, very angry. We both know it was it, the Leviathan-specific supplement itself and the Army of Renown, AOR, uh, don't repeatedly reference rules found in the 8th edition codex. Uh, just be blunt and say we decide we don't want it of, regardless of past precedent. Because a lot of people are ang arguing. Mechanicus, the Adeptus Mechanicus, received an Army of Renown for Forge or Metallica, I think. Oh, no, that was a supplement. They received an army of renown, like a Mechanicus thingy, and they and they also received a supplement for Metallica. They both got updates in a book, and then the codex came out later. And they're saying that sets a precedent that an army of renown and a supplement released in ninth edition still works on the new codex. However, um, there I've been told, I've been informed, I might be wrong, from the, from what I've read on here, is that the the army of renown for Admech and the supplement for Admech were basically clarified to say that they do carry over they do carry over because they were released at the wrong time because of covid which is fair enough 
but the same hasn't been said for Tyranids, which is also fair enough. Ryan says, personally, I think this is a chicken shit call, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> chicken shit call. <laughs> These are both, uh, I personally think this is chicken shit call. You are literally making up ideas about referencing 8th edition code edition. Uh, these are both 9th edition supplements. Would you have done this to Harley Quinn? You didn't do it for Dark Elder last year. So they've they've pulled up this, which I can't quite see, so I'm going to have to pull it up. So they're referencing two FAQs for Warzone Octarius. Wait. Wait. What? Games Workshop. Where's the FAQ? <laughs> what? Games Workshop are like, Dallas, open your drone. <laughs> it's not the battle round when selecting a wall trait for a model with just alt commander wall trait. Can I select the likes of any clean or heightened sentence? Now, just alt commander specifically refers to traits labeled as high fleet wall traits, i.e., monstrous hunger, one step ahead, perfectly adapted, lethal miasma, introduced threat, endless regeneration, or soul hunger. I don't understand what they're trying to say with this then. One step ahead is a high fleet wall trait. I don't know about the other ones. I know one step ahead is it's regain CP for I believe Leviathan. So I don't know what point they're trying to make with these two parts. Because I don't have the rules to hand. It, it sounds pretty thin. But I still support them. I still support them. Didn't they do this something for the marine supplements? Yeah, so with the marine supplements, on day one, they FAQ'd them all and said, look, all make all these changes so these books continue to work. Whereas they haven't done this, um, they haven't done this for Tyranids at the moment. What they're saying is, is that the the rules or the FAQ specifically references 8th edition rules. Stuff like this. Of all high fleets have threatening items in none of these large found and far-reaching tendrils of Leviathan. The rules in the Leviathan section supplement those found in Codex Tyranids with collections of army and battle forge rules such as wallet traits, stratagems and stuff for high fleet Leviathan. Now this one, this one's a bit reaching this particular sentence because it just says codex tyrannies which could reference any tyrannid ever really any tyrannid codex ever released ever a lot of people are mad look th this thread is outrageous i mean this is the most the the most like um comments i've seen on a tournament thread ever uh, of like a tournament page so there's a lot of people angry about it a lot of people are angry but the thing is Anyone with, like, with all three books, you can look at the Tyranid Codex and you can look at the Crusher Stampede Codex. Uh, sorry, so, but Crusher Stampede Supplement. And you can look at the Leviathan Supplement. And ever since the book came out, you can see that, like, sh like abilities and stratagems that are available in Crusher Stampede, that are available in High Fleet Leviathan, have been carried over, carried over to the new codex stuff like the transhuman ability you know a stratagem like one cp or two cp for a mo two cp for a monster can't be wounded on better than a four plus that's in the codex but it's also in the crusher stampede book there's also abilities that don't quite align like for example um the in crusher stampede a monster counts as as many models on an objective as it has wounds remaining so if you've got 12 wounds you count as 12 models on an objective but there's also a wall of trait, Alien Cunning, which makes you count as five models and have objectives secured. So if you both count as five models and 12 models and obsec, what do you count as? What, what do you count as? Do you count as five models with obsec and then 12 normal models as well? Do you count as 12 obsec models? Do you count just as five obsec models? Isn't that worse than counting as 12? And the problem is... The problem is, is that Games Workshop haven't officially said anything. There's lots of rumours, lots of rumours out there, you know. Lots of people saying, Games Workshop has said this, my TO said this, I've done this, I've done that, Dallas Open said this. There's no official word that's been published. Man, there isn't even an FAQ page right now. Again, all buggy players, get all nine out. Go for a game right now. Say, I'm running nine buggies, and then they can say, we can't do that. I said, show me where it can't. It'd be a knobhead, but it'd be funny. But there's lots of like weird rules interactions because they've taken a lot of stuff from these two supplements and put it into the new codex. So it doesn't make sense for Crusher and High Fleet Leviathan to work in the new book. For example, if you allow just the High Fleet Leviathan supplement, it's the only it's the only book or only army in the game that can have two chapter masters. 
So there you go, that's what's happening at Dallas Open GT. It's quite interesting. I think it's going to be really interesting to follow along with this story to see what Games Workshop do, if they do anything, or whether to tournament's a complete success or a complete flop. Again, I completely support them, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you think Crusher and High Fleet Leviathan supplement should be banned? Let us know down in the comments, or if you want to, you can join our Discord. Link in the description, we can carry on the conversation there. This video is made from uh, our live streams. We're live every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. I just want to say a massive thank you to these wonderful people here. They're, me they're members, and they're, they're all, look, look how beautiful they are. They are just astonishing. So thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for watching. Hope I catch you next one. Bye.